A sound is a vibration. To produce sound, you need to produce vibrations. This special ceramic disc is made just for that. Special because of its unique property. It's piezoelectric. Piezoelectric materials vibrate at a constant speed when they are jolted by an electric current. That's what these nickel electrodes are for. They deliver electric current to the disc. When the current hits the disc, it vibrates at an extremely high frequency, up to two million times a second. Those vibrations are sound, but we don't hear anything. The human ear can't detect these ultra-fast vibrations. They're called ultrasounds. This device uh, is basically a, a power supply, and it's a small-scale, micro-scale power supply. So it can be used to um, charge batteries, like uh, for, for medical, for implantable devices, for example, peacemaker. Working principle of this nano generator is uh, very straightforward. We, we use piezoelectric nanofibers to convert mechanical vibration into electricity. I, like uh, for peacemaker, if, like uh, every uh, six or seven years, you will have to remove the peacemaker and replace its battery. And if we can use this nano generator, I, then you no longer need to replace the battery. And so if a pressure is applied on top of the nano generator, uh, there will be mechanical deformation. And this deformation can be applied to the piezoelectric nanofibers through the matrix, polymer matrix, and, uh, and stretch the fibers so that this mechanical energy can be converted into electric energy. My name is Zhongling Wang, ZL Wang from Georgia Institute of Technology. I'm a registered professor at Georgia Tech. We use zinc oxide for our research for the last decade. And this material is very common. This material is environmental friendly, biological compatible. We use this material mainly for two purposes. The first purpose is to convert tiny physical motion like the energy in our biological system. This material has a property called piezoelectric property. That means for this crystal, if you apply a strain, they generate voltage inside. And this voltage can drive the electron to flow. Then you convert mechanical action energy into electricity. We utilize this one to convert energy, for, for example, from heart beating, finger motions, any kind of physical motion, tiny physical motion, we can utilize the energy you generate for power. Today we make uh, the size by like a fingertip size, one centimeter square and 10 micron in thickness. We can generate continuous like a micron watt output, micron watt, 10 to the minus six watt output. This research covers from fundamental concept, fundamental physics, fundamental chemistry, to engineering fabrications, to electrical measurements, to even electronic packaging, and then finally uh, do the final measurements. So we cover from physics, chemistry, electrical engineering, optical engineering, to uh, measurements, even to package. My name is Michael McAlpine. I'm assistant professor of mechanical engineering at Princeton University, and I work on uh, nanotechnology for energy harvesting and for sensing. We're trying to solve problems that involve medically implanted devices, which currently run off of batteries but the battery dies every five to 10 years, so you need another surgery to replace the battery. What we like to do is be able to en harvest energy from lung motion, harvest that mechanical energy into powering the device inside your body to lengthen the lifespan of the battery or even replace the battery altogether. PZT is lead zirconate titanate. It's one of the most efficient and widely used piezoelectric materials. Uh, piezoelectric actually comes from Greek uh, piezo, which means to uh, bend or flex or stress something. Uh, to squeeze, actually. And so piezoelectric is the pr production of power by squeezing a material, by stressing it, flexing it, uh, or bending. This is quartz. It's a beautiful crystal. And the atoms are packed together so regularly that even though there's billions and billions of them, you actually see the way the atoms are packed together because that results in the beautiful crystal. Now, quartz is what's called a, called a piezoelectric material. And it has this amazing property that if you bend it, when you bend it, for a moment, the charge is separated. One side of the crystal goes positive, one side goes negative. You can actually make electricity this way. Now, I'm not really strong enough to bend a big crystal like this, but I've got a tiny bit of piezoelectric material here. 
This is the white thing on this metal disc. And I've wired the top and the bottom to a little light. And if I flick the crystal, I can bend it. And you can see it actually lights the little bulb and generates electricity. So this is what a piezoelectric material can do. You bend it and it produces electricity. So this is a lovely little demonstration of piezoelectricity.